Now that we've reviewed some of the common use cases for running SQMAP as an API, let's see exactly how to do it. And you'll remember that we already saw a script file named sqlmapapi.py in the GitHub repository from earlier in the course. Opening it up, we can see that this is a REST JSON API that includes some of its own command line options. We have dash s or dash dash server, which is a flag that's used to run sqmap as an API server. And then we have dash c or dash dash client, which is a flag used to run sqmap as an API client. And this client can then be used to connect to the sqmap server, which I'll actually demonstrate in this lesson. Then we have dash h or dash dash host, and this option is used to set the host address for our API server. We also have dash p or dash dash port, which is an option used to set the port number for that very same API server. We also have dash dash adapter, and this option is used to set a server adapter. The default is gonna be WSGI ref, and WSGI stands for Web Server Gateway Interface, which is a standard interface between the web server software and web applications written in Python. So this makes it easier to use an application with different kinds of web servers. And in this case, the web server being used is called Bottle. We also have dash dash username and dash dash password, which are used to set a username and password for authentication, but this step is optional. We can also run sqmapapi.py dash h in the terminal in order to get the help menu. So if we wanted to run sqmap as an API server, all we'd have to really do is type in this command of dash s for server, dash h for host. We type in the IP address that we want. In this case, I'll just do localhost with 127.0.0.1, and then we'll do a pour of, let's say, 7,000. We'll see that it starts running the REST JSON API at the IP import that we submitted. We get an admin secret token if we need to use it. We get an IPC database, which is basically a database used as a queue system. And then the REST JSON API server connected to that IPC database. And then again, it says using adapter to run bottle. So just by running this command, we've created a web server with a RESTful interface that enables you to configure, to start, to stop, and even to get results from SQMAP scans by passing it options via JSON requests. But how do we know how to format those requests and even what requests we can send? Well, let's check that out. In SQMAP's main root directory in its repo, we'll also find an SQMAP API .yaml file. And in this file, we get API specifications, which include API paths that we can make requests to, how those requests should be formatted, and then what we can expect to get back. For example, there's task new, and there's scan task ID slash start, which with the description, we can see launches a new scan. We can see the types of parameters that are required, in this case, the task ID, the request body, including the format needed. We've got some examples, and then it shows us what a successful response looks like with a 200 OK, as well as the properties that you would get returned back. So the main endpoints are going to be the task new that we just saw, the scan slash task ID slash start. We also have slash stop slash status slash list slash data log and kill. And then we have task with the task ID slash delete. So at this point, we can either manually craft requests and hit these endpoints, or we can build plugins that integrate with other tools. And we can do that because we have a fully functioning REST API. So let's go ahead and connect a client to our server and see some examples. Like I mentioned, we can also run SQMAP API as a client that's connected to the server in order to more easily issue commands. All we have to do is type dash C for client, the host, and the port number. From there, we'll see example client access from the command line. So we can actually launch curl request as tasks. We can launch the curl, set the headers of content type application JSON, submit a post request with specific data, and then we can tell SQMAP that we want to start a new task or get data back or get log information back and so on. We get a prompt at our API and from there we can use the question mark or even type in help in order to get a list of commands. So we can use this to practice, or we can also use it on a remote machine in order to connect directly to our API server. So let's go ahead and show a few examples, starting with a new scan. We'll do new dash u, and then I'll set my target to localhost 8440 with an ID equals one. 
we'll see that it's calling the endpoint of task new. The new task ID is automatically generated, and then it calls scan with that task ID slash start, which starts a scan. We can then call for data on the current scan by just typing in data. We'll see some information about the scan. We can retrieve logs from our scan by typing log, and we'll see what happened during the calls. We can retrieve the status of our current scan, which is already terminated. So the success was true, but the status is terminated for that specific task. And we can also list all of the different tasks that we either have running or that we've run in the past with just typing in list. And again, there's more options. But like I said, we don't have to just use this client. We can make those curl requests. We can use that Burt plugin to make requests and so on and so forth. You can really fully customize this to your needs or your application's needs. So feel free to play around with these different options or even try to craft different curl requests and just see how it responds. Then once you're ready, go ahead and complete this lesson and I'll see you in the next.